What's up everyone, KJ here. Uh, let's get right into my thoughts on episode 127 of Steven Universe titled Are You My Dad? All inspiration for the review came from the episode as well as the Steven Universe Wikia. Links to both are in the description below. If my voice sounds a little bit different, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, my sister got me sick a couple of days ago and something stupid I did was like, you know those like, um, those like cough drop halls things, right? So what I would do is I remember I would just take them to school and I would just eat them and like like let's just say I'd stuff like 10 15 of them in my pocket and I would just take them to school and eat them and then by the time I got home of course I'd have them I'd eat them all like I have eaten them all and so one day my mom was like what are you doing and, she, and I was like oh these are really fun snacks to have because I they tasted so good because I had the assorted citrus uh, pack so it was really on um, really delicious flavors so then she was like, they're not snacks. If you keep eating them, you're going to lose, like your body's going to build up an immunity to it. And she was right because I've already had probably about 40, at least 40 plus hauls in a matter of three days. And it hasn't done anything for my um, cold. So pretty much, yeah, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. But anyway, let's move on to the important things segment. So, Steven discovers that Jamie is missing after not receiving an important package in the mail. Apparently some, like, distinguished boy khaki pants or something. I don't really know. He also finds out that Sadie and Onion are missing as well from Sour Cream and Barb is Sadie's mom. After Barb and Steven talk about the missing people, they split up and look for them. Steven encounters a small blue gem, similar to the small shadow from Dugout and the Good Lars. The gem continuously asks Steven if he is my, if he is my dad. And quotes around that, you know. But Steven says no, so the gem flies away. Steven loses her and goes to the Crystal Gems to tell them of his encounter. After discussing what the gem's motives could be and why it's impossible that it could have a dad, the, gem, the Crystal Gems split up and prepare to look for this gem. While in the forest, Steven and Connie encounter the gem from before and she continues to ask if they are my dad. The gem finds out who Connie is and calls out to Topaz, saying they found another one. After many large footsteps, we see Topaz, a large yellow and silent gem who happens to be a double Topaz fusion. Topazes have, abil have an ability that allows them to engulf things in a fusion. Pretty much, um, they'll defuse into two separate Topazes and then they'll refuse with something between them and then, that, and then it'll be inside of them. Parts of it will stick out. So, yeah, so, um, uh, so Topaz, because of this engulfing ability, Topaz is shown to have the missing people and also captures Connie as well. As Steven tries to attack, the small gem uses her hair bow as a wand and bubbles Steven. Um, she then sends Steven flying and explains to Topaz that they need my dad, and then their mission is complete. After Steven, I mean, as Steven passes out, he overhears the gems uh, talking as they walk away. Well, really only Aquamarine, because uh, Topaz didn't talk in this episode. The blue gem named Aquamarine talks about the mission to Topaz. The, Steven says that the crystal gems won't be able to fight these homeworld gems. That ends this important things segment. My review starts right now. I enjoyed this episode because we got two important questions answered. The first one was where the missing people were going and who, and the second was um, who the shadows were. The first shadow, a small gem named Aquamarine, has water wings similar to Lapis Lazuli but is shorter and uses a wand which doubles as a hair bow. Her wand can freeze things in a bubble. But does Aquamarine have hydrokinesis like Lapis does or is it a Lapis Lazuli exclusive? The second uh, shadow, a fusion gem named Topaz, has the ability to engulf objects or people in her fusion. She's big and strong and is made of two uh, topazes, kind of like the ruby squad fusing into one big ruby. Her gem also kind of reminds me of the lighthouse gem as well, it's just that the colors are different. Like our, The topaz we see in this episode is yellow, while the lighthouse gem is white, but they still kind of look, they're still both kind of, um, the white lighthouse gem kind of looks like a uh, topaz gem as well. Also, why doesn't Topaz talk? Is, she, is it uh, because she's a mute gem or she just uh, blocks out everything or she just feels like she doesn't need to talk? Although we still don't know exactly why these homeworld gems are kidnapping humans, it can be said that all these humans have a connection to Steven in some way. But with all that being said, um, actually shoot, I need to say that for her conclusion. Anyway, that concludes this review. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. What did you think of this episode of Steven Universe? Were you happy to see the way the humans were disappearing to? Were you excited to see the debut of Aquamarine and Topaz? Did Aquamarine's weapon shock you? Um, do Aquamarines have hydrokinesis like Lapis Lazuli's? Is Topaz's ability unique to her gem or, or can other fusion gems use it as well? 
Um, if you have any questions, if you, I'm sorry, wait. If you have any questions, thoughts, theories, suggestions, comments, or concerns, please let me know about them in the comments down below. With all that being said, until next time, I'll see y'all later.